<clears throat> Hello again and welcome to Tips with Andrew. I am Andrew Sapiano. Thank you so much for joining me on this happy Wednesday. Happy hump day. Yes. All right. I hope you guys are having an awesome week so far. I hope you're rocking out the weekend or the, <laughs> I hope you're rocking out the week. Um, what? <laughs> what? <clears throat> we are being some, treated to some amazing weather up here in Canada this for the last little bit, this has been spectacular. If you've been able to get some enjoyment of it, I very much am beneficial for you. Um, just a quick update, I am in the finishing touches of a weight loss course for beginners that I'm putting together. If you or anyone you know of is interested in this, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message, we'll get you some early bird access. There's tons of cool stuff that comes along with that. What I wanted to talk a little bit today about, yesterday we were talking about simplifying life. We've been having this sort of theme going on. <clears throat> and what I wanted to talk about was a little bit about positive affirmations. Um, you know, positive affirmations are, they can seem like some voodoo thing that, uh, you know, it, it's, is uh, foreign to some far off land that, you know, what, what does that even have to do with my life? What does that have to do? What, you know, why does it benefit me? What does that even mean? Positive affirmation. I don't even know what that means. Um, and you know, it, it can be very, uh, what, what, what was the one thing that I read is if we think in positive terms, we achieve positive results. And if we think in negative terms, we achieve negative results. Right, so that's why we want to bring as much positivity into our lives as we can. Um, you know, the people that with a, with a positive mind and a great attitude are those people you've heard them. They call them lucky. Um, you know, they're not lucky. They're using our great friend cause and effect. Their causes are excellent, and their effects have to be just as good. So that's where I want to come in, give some tips that help me uh, sort of st uh, to what stay in a positive mind. I guess you will not all the time. You right, life happens and we're not going to be able to be positive all the time but what we want to um, stay away from is um, you know overloads of negativity right we want to stay as positive as we can and that's where I got some tips that help me and uh, let's I want to share them with you hopefully uh, you get some value out of them and uh, you use them to rock out your own life Tip number one is inner self-talk. I really love this uh, uh, this one YouTube video I've been watching for a little bit now. And it says, uh, it's by a, a man named Neville Goddard. And he says that we can know, I'm trying to figure out this wording. We can not stop talking to ourselves as much as we can stop eating. Right, so, and you already know this, you're, you're, you talk, we talk to ourselves more than we talk to anybody else in our life, right? We always are talking to ourselves, we are always giving ourselves, um, you know, little pep talks, um, or, you know, the reasons why we shouldn't do that, that old thing of the angel and the devil on the shoulder, um, you know, so we are always talking to ourselves, and what we really need to understand more than anything is that the mind is never idle. So it's never going to be a time where you're not thinking or talking about something. So that's where we need to consciously put positivity into our minds, into our brains, into our activities, into our everyday lives. Because we, we will always um, talk to ourselves and our inner self-talk is happening all the time. And when you are trying to think of a situation that's going wrong in your life, right? Try and change the inner self-talk that's happening to you. You can you can tell um, with a little bit of with a little bit of practice and a little bit of um, you know refreshing that what's happening in your life is just a it, it's it's a it's a variation of what you're talking to yourself, right? Um, what, the one thing that I read was if you've been an adult for any appreciable amount of time, then you, all of your situate or all of your circumstances are a product of your mind, right? All of them are a product of your inner self talk. So always remember that you're always talking to yourself, whether you're conscious of it or not. And that's where I wanted to really drive in the point of your inner self talk is always happening. So make it positive. You know, I, I, I am great. I am awesome. I can do this. Um, you know, stop thinking of all the reasons why you can't and think of reasons why you can, right? If, if what's the, the, the Thomas the Tank Engine, right? I think I can. I think I can. I think I can, right? So that's 
talking self or that's that's positive talking to yourself instead of no you can't there's no way you can't not gonna happen nope 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 right you can see the difference automatically you can, actually you can see the difference kind of in my persona right when I'm talking yes 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 it's really happy and uh, and 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 outgoing when I'm talking no 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 it's very down and depressing right so inner self talk is always happening just make sure you're conscious of what you're saying to yourself Number two, remember that thoughts become things. This is this is really one of those things that if you uh, um, you know philosophers and scientists have been trying to determine the uh, the nature of this for centuries and millenniums, right? And they still will continue to try it because the mind is really one of the it's one of the last great, you know, objectives that human mind, humankind has to overcome, right? Um, so, if we if we realistically think about it, right, um, everything that we think of becomes fruition, right? If you never think, the, you know, if you don't think about baking an apple pie for dinner tonight, you will never think about getting the recipe. So, therefore, there is no apple pie because you never thought about it. If you don't think about driving your car to, you know, Toronto, Ontario, or um, Winnipeg, Manitoba, you will never get uh, roadmaps that show how to get to Toronto or Winnipeg, right? You, and so when you're when you're trying to decide what you want in your life, when you're trying to um, move your your sort of push your boundaries, I guess if we will, um, you, you need to remember that thoughts become things. And this is why we use positive affirmations because when we're thinking about positive things, we th th those th and and thoughts become things, right? Automatically, we become more positive. Over time, we have to be. Um, what was the thing that I that I read was um, uh, the the law of what the heck was it? I don't even remember. I can't. I, I can't even think of it. It's. It, it is. It is eluding me right now. But uh, back on track here, right? Thoughts become things. So if you really think about it for a minute, everything that you've done in your life, everything that you're going to do, is a result of you thinking to do it, right? When you think about doing it, you start putting in the, the roadmaps on how to get there. You start looking up things on how to get it done, right? When you think about redoing uh, your bathroom, you go through all the steps which shows how to redo your bathroom. When you think about buying a new car, you go through all the steps that, that lead you up to how to buy a new car. When you think about getting a new job or a new promotion or a new spouse or a new partner, right? You're, you're going, you're looking up all of the things that requires you to, 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 to do the things that are going to help you to get where you're going, right? So thoughts become things. Remember that and just keep your thoughts in positive mind, right? Positive frame of mind always. Number three is remember the three P's, present, personal, and positive. So whenever we're talking about something um, coming to fruition, the one thing that I read more than anything was our mind doesn't actually realize time and space, right? So when we talk about things, we want to talk about them as in the present tense, right? And if we want positive results, we speak in terms of positive things. And then we make it personal, right? So what's a, what's a, you know, I am, what do I have one right here? My bank account is exploding with more money than I could ever imagine, right? So over here, I have, I have a few of them right here, actually. I am, I am blessed to have everything in my life to make it successful. Uh, I am grateful to have unlimited abundance in my life. I am attuned to the abundance of success. I am a confident money magnet, right? So these are all in, in the form of present tense. They are personal because they are I am statements and they are positive because I'm talking about how, pos how positivity is running my life, right? I am confident. I am able, right? I am enough. I am patient. I am hardworking, right? These are all things that if we re, we, we need to, uh, these are all things that, that come, 
that, that we're trying to change in our life, right? We're trying to make these actions come to fruition. And this is one thing that we really need to remember when we're making a, 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 an affirmation, we need to remember the three P's always personal, sorry, present, personal, positive. That's like I just said, I am enough, right? I am capable. So present, personal, positive. Uh, number, okay, so we are talking positive affirmations. Number one, master your inner self-talk. Number two, remember that thoughts become things. Number three, the three Ps. Well, I like what I did there. <laughs> number four, write them down. I really love this one, and this is something that I never really thought about until I really started thinking about it, right? Um, for me, I learn better by writing things down. I guess, what's that? I'm a, I'm a kinesthetic learner or something like that. So for me, I learn really well by writing things down. Now, what I didn't realize is there's actually huge power in writing things down. When you write it down, not only can you see it, but you're forming the motion in your brain of what you actually want to come to fruition, right? So that's when, so write it down and then not only are you seeing it and you're looking at it, but the, 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 uh, the motion of writing it down, taking it from your head, putting it onto paper actually reinforces that a little bit more because, uh, it just makes it, it it's like a double duty, right? Double whammy. We, we are watching it. We are looking at it. And we are writing it down, which is reinforcing it. This one was huge uh, because when we are in our heads, we we tend to really go and we, we make things sort of really best or worst case scenario, right? We don't really have a sort of, um, a, a, in our heads, we don't normally have a clear design goal, right? We have something that is kind of, sort of, I want more money, right? I want a better house. I want a more happy relationship, right? This is all stuff that is in our head and we're like, yeah, sure, totally. I, that's like, that sounds something cool. I could have that, heck yeah. But writing it down and then putting it in the form of the three Ps, that's what's gonna make, that's what really what drives it into your subconscious. And when you're driving it into your subconscious, that's when it's gonna start to help you uh, to, to, to form it in your life, right? It kinda, you kind of, um, it, it becomes so knit with habit that it becomes part of your life, right? So um, write it down. And then my next tip is read it in front of the mirror. So for us, I don't actually have it with us, but for us, we actually got it written out in the sticky thing form. So we can stick it on our mirror. And then that way, when we're waking up in the morning and we're getting dressed, we're looking at our affirmations right in our mirror. Then we're reading them out loud because now this is this is where we're just blowing it, blowing the top right off, right? So we're looking at it, we're enforcing it. Then sort of back up. We wrote it down, right? We enforce it. Now we're looking at it, we're double enforcing it, and we're saying it, triple enforcing it. Boom, 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 right? That's how you make it stick. That's how you really help your subconscious mind to understand. Because this is what it is, right? When we're talking in the present tense, our subconscious mind can really be that sort of, what are you talking about? Uh, you are not happy. Uh, you are not rich. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, but you don't live in a nice house. Uh, I don't know if you've looked at your life recently, but you do not have harmonious relationship. So that's where we need to really understand that there is going to be pushback from ourselves, from our mind, because our mind doesn't understand time and space, right? It just understands this is what's happening and this is what you're saying. And it's just confused, right? So that's where we need to reinforce it, which is my next tip, repeat every day. Um, and then we reinforce it every day and we go back and we go over it and we just keep enforcing it into our mind, right? So we're writing it down. Then we're reading them in front of the mirror. Then we're repeating them every day. So that way we can really enforce it into our brain. And then when we repeat something every day, our mind starts to realize, all right, <laughs> okay, right? This is something that you want to do, huh? You want to go, huh? Eh, 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 eh? Yeah, right? See, that's, and that's what our mind is doing. And that's where our repeating the habit every day and reinforcing it every day by putting it on our mirror, by reading it out loud and repeating it every day is helping our subconscious mind to realize that this is something that we want, 
This is something that we are okay with, and this is something that we are going to continue to do because we know that it's going to eventually impact our lives in a positive way, right? That's our great friend, like I mentioned before, cause and effect. Our causes are excellent, and our effects have to be just as good. My last tip, more than anything, is essential oils. Uh, I love using essential oils because we can really think about this. Um, uh, smells are, are uh, they're linked to past memories, right? So when we use essential oils to sort of reinforce this positivity into our lives that we're trying to, to create, when we go back to smell these oils, our brain is going to be like, hey, wait a second, I remember that. That smell is... That, that's mixed with good feelings, positivity. I like that smell. I'm going to keep bringing positive emotions to that smell. So that's where I love it. An essential oil blend like Balance from doTERRA is uh, the grounding blend. So that one's great for when you need to sort of uh, bring yourself back down to earth, right? When, you're, when your emotions are really riding high and you, need to, and you need to sort of calm yourself down, right? It's got woodsy oils in it that are very great for uh, calming, promoting relaxation, right? Helping you to sort of be present in the moment. Uh, another blend of oils is Motivate. Uh, Motivate is actually a, a blend of oil. It's called the encouraging blend, right? So it's a blend of oils that, uh, that is great for uplifting, right? Motivating when you sort of uh, need that extra little push, when you need that, you know, I am ha happy, right? I am in a place of blissfulness, uh, if you will, that I am okay with. Another blend that I have is cheer. And this is actually what I love more than anything about doTERRA is you can tell basically what the blends are used for based on their names, right? Balance, when you need a little bit more in your life. Motivate, when you're sort of down and you need some uplifting. Cheer, when you need those happy thoughts, right? When you're talking about I am great and I am awesome and, and when you don't think that you really are and you need cheer to sort of uplift you, right? It's a blend of citrus oils that are great for that. But what I actually love, I love using these oils in the roller top form. Um, so what that means is they just come with this cool roller bot, or the roller top just on the bottom like that. Um, and for this one, I can actually rub this right, uh, cheer just, uh, Side note with cheer, citrus oils, so it causes photosensitivity when you're in the sun. So just be weary of where you're putting it. That's why I love putting these oils on like my collar of my shirt, right? That way you don't have to be weary about photosensitivityness. Um, another great place is the bottoms of your feet. Uh, if you're familiar at all with reflexology, all of our organs are connected through the bottoms of our feet. So that's where um, uh, no matter what you're trying to... Uh, to, to help in your body, the, the bottoms of your feet is a great place to start. Um, and also too, I like the rollers because the, the, the bottles, right, you have to open the top, put a drop, rub it in your hand, do all that stuff, but the roller, you can really literally just open the bottle, roll it on wherever you need, and that's, that's, why, that's why I like, I like the convenience of the roller bottles more than anything. That's all I got for you for today. Um, I really hope you found some value out of this. I know I had some fun making it. Feel free to share this with your friends, a family member, perhaps somebody from your team that you feel needs to hear this. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about essential oils or how to get your hands on some of this cool stuff that I'm talking about, or if you would like a free sample of oils, definitely drop me a comment, send me a message saying me, and we'll get you rocking and rolling for sure. That's all I got for you for today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. I really hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your week. And I look very forward to talking to you again. I love you guys. Bye for now.